Here you will get a glimpse of what Norway has to offer. Norway is a small country in Europe. Specifically, it is in Scandinavia. In March 2012, we will pass 5 million people. The Norwegian country consists a lot of nice nature. We are known for our lakes and mountains. The most famous lake is Geirangerfjorden. It is located in Sundmøre, Møre Romsdal, west of the country. Among the mountains we have Gallupigen, that is the highest mountain in Norway. It is 2469 meters above sea level. The second largest mountain is Glittertin, that is 2452 meters above sea level without the glacier. But with snow on top it can be higher than Gallupigen. In many countries there isn't any clear distinction between the seasons. In Norway we can distinguish between four different seasons – winter, spring, summer and autumn. In the winter we can have up to 30 below minus depending on where you are in the country and there are a lot of snow and ice. When spring comes the snow melts and the flowers are coming back. During the summer months it is warm and sunny, but some years we can have a lot of rain. When the autumn arrives the leaves fall down from the trees and there are a lot of wind and rain. The nature is preparing itself for the winter. Norway is a long stretch country. Now you will see some things Norway is known for in the northern part. The very north of Norway has two unique phenomena. One is the midnight sun. During the summer the sun is up 24-7. It never gets dark. In return there is also a dark time in the winter. During that time they don't see the sun at all. The second phenomenon is the northern lights. That is a very special phenomenon that we can see in the northern Norway. A part of our population is called Samer. They are mostly living in the north and borders on to Finland and Sweden. They have their own language and are known for breeding of reindeer, the use of tent and their special outfit. They also have the joik, which is a song category. It goes like this. <speaking in Spanish> They have their own laws and rights in the constitution. Now you will see some of the things Norway is known for in the western part. As mentioned earlier, Norway is known for its beautiful mountains and lakes. Many Norwegian and foreign tourists choose to travel with Hurtigruta so they can see the Norwegian nature at its best. Hurtigruta is a shipping route that stretches from Bergen to Kirkenes, with many stops along the way. In the major cities the boat stops for a few hours, so the tourists have the opportunity to explore and see some of the cities. Along the tour the tourists have the opportunity to see many familiar places, such as the Seven Sisters and Torghatten. Now you will see what the center of Norway is famous for. Tourists who are visiting Norway often buy troll as souvenirs. Troll is a phenomenon that appeared many years ago. Interests in trolls come from the old fairy tales that were told orally. Troll is a collective term for human-like creatures which are often bad and stupid. How they really look like depends on which the person who describes them. Some regular features is a large and long nose, beard, tail and tattered clothes. In Norway we have Hunderfossen family park that has troll and fairy tales as the theme. Perhaps you have heard of Lillehammer? In 1994 Lillehammer hosted the Winter Olympic Games. This event marked Norway on the world map. 
Norway came out as one of the best nations in the games with 10 gold. Mascots that were used during the games were two Viking children, Kristin and Håkon. Now we will look at the famous things in the east part of Norway. Here lives a large part of the population, partly because it's here capital Oslo is located. In the heart of Oslo you will find Holmenkollen, which is one of the capital's most popular tourist attractions. This is a major ski resort which is mainly used in the winter, but it's also used for other events during the summer. In 2011 Oslo hosted the World Championships in Ski at Holmenkollen. Skiing is one of the most popular sports in Norway and it is said that Norwegians are born with skis on. We have almost always had Norwegians in the top, such as Bjorn Dari, Thomas Alskor and Marit Bjørgen. Nowadays we have skier Petter Nortug, he is one of the best and famous skier in the world. In the capital we find some of the greatest representatives of Norway, such as the country's royal family. They live in the castle, which you can find in the end of the famous shopping street Karl Johan in Oslo. Our king and queen lives there every day, but we also have representatives of Crown Prince Håkon and Crown Princess Mette Marit with their children. May 17th is Norwegian National Day. On that day the royal family stands on the palace balcony and waves to all the children when they are marching in a parade. Almost all Norwegian children are marching in parades that day. Na 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 Hedda, how do you celebrate the Norwegian National Day? In the morning we are in the church, and when we are done there we go in a Sötna Mojtog as we call it. When we are finished there I am with my family and eat ice cream and food. The rest of the day I am with my friends. Norway is also known for a lot of good art. In Oslo you will find many sculptures by Vigeland in Frogneparken and a museum with paintings of Munch. Now you got a small glimpse of what Norway has to offer. If you want to see more, you're welcome to visit us.